Right, well, here we are, week three of beginner's college course whatsoever. So I'm actually doing this outside of my car for a change, uh, which is a big step for me because it's kind of still a new thing for me. So hoping the audio picks up fine on this. I've got my, my new dongle and everything sorted out. So I remember what we're doing today. We'll be needing shutter speed on the camera. So, and by that, we have a lovely bridge here. If you guys can see that in the background, we've got that bridge to do. And we will be hopefully doing some shutter speed stuff on that, which is kind of cool. So we're hopefully going to get all the, all the um, light trails from, from the cars and stuff that are going past, which will be there. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I did get, so I got my card last week. So I went and got myself a, a book out of a library here. It's a bit of an old book, but it's, it's, it's still a, it's a good old fashioned book. So it's a, it's a Lightroom 4. I think it's about 12 years old or so, but it's fine. I'm hoping the basics will be in there to get me through Lightroom. Again, self-taught on things like Lightroom. And so, yeah. Anyway, I've got to get into class now, so I'll catch you all later on, and I'll let you know how it goes. Right, there we go. Uh, week number three is completed, and we did go up on the bridge like I was hoping we would at the end of the lesson. Had to wait for it to get dark enough, because, you know, we're coming into uh, summer now, believe it or not and uh, so it is light for a bit longer so but towards the end of the lesson we did about half hour out on the uh, out on the bridge we did some photos uh before that we were in class we just went through you know how shutter speed works what it does um you know how it works in a dslr as opposed to a mirrorless because obviously i say obviously mirrorless cameras don't have the shutter gate like they do in uh, in the dslrs we also got given some handouts with some photos on so we had to try and pick which uh, which shutter speed was used for which photo. So we had like a, a whale coming out the water and it was, you know, like frozen in time sort of thing. So that was obviously a very uh, quick shutter speed. Uh, we also had like mountain scapes uh, to try and determine, but they were a little bit tricky because you couldn't quite get the detail in, in the print off of the photo. It's like one, for example, it looked like it was the sun. So we thought it was quite a, a quick shutter speed because there it looked like there was snow falling. But it actually turns out it was like a 30 second shutter speed and it was actually the moon that was in the picture and not the sun but we couldn't see the stars so that wasn't we couldn't really get that as a as a giveaway but yeah it was good fun learned some bits tonight um i think everybody else had fun we we're out on the uh I say out on the bridge everybody doing taking their photos had a few cars honk us as we were as they were going underneath us i think they thought we might have been the uh the old bill uh you know catching them for uh, speeding and stuff uh I would have stayed out longer and probably done this out on the bridge but my battery on my camera died and like a doofus I didn't pack the spare batteries tonight. I was so worried about making sure I got the, the microphone dongle but I forgot the camera batteries so we had to cut it a bit shorter which is a shame because it's, it's getting nice and dark now so it would have been a bit better but we should go back and do some more. Homework for this week is to do shutter speed so various situations I'll have a look on the on the, on the sheet for the uh, what we need to do. Um, I'll probably play around with cars and lights again. So yeah, that's it for this week. So hopefully you're liking these. If not, I can't help you, I'm afraid. Tell me what you think. Anyway, all right, speak to you later. Take care now. <laughs>